Hey everyone, welcome back. Sorry, I'm gonna be smacking a little bit. I just ate a handful of Skittles, so. <sighs> Hope you enjoyed that. Anyway, here we are, back on the death road to Canada. This time, we're definitely gonna make it. I believe in us. So in the morning, there's a moose outside the camp. It looks injured and it's just glaring at the group. Even injured, a moose is, really, is a really powerful creature. Probably best not to uh, mess with it. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna try to treat it. Let's see what happens. He patches up a little, the moose is too confused by the stressor of kindness to maul him. Aw, okay. Oh, my loyalty is revealed. I have pretty good loyalty. Awesome. Well, that feels nice, I helped the moose. This is some bull crap. I agree, Whitney. <laughs> Whoa, it's Alex! It's nice to see a familiar face. He is humming a little song and hasn't noticed the group yet. Let's recruit him. Awesome. Welcome back to the team, Alex. You're not dead anymore. Composure and shooting. Composure really good, shooting pretty bad. While driving on the death row, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. Rest stop with car or big house. Hmm. Let's go to the rest stop. We need some more food. The group has a rest stop along the road. Right in front of it is a car that looks like it's been recently driven. The car is in great shape, but the owner is nowhere in sight. Huh. So we might run into somebody here. Okay. It could be a potential new teammate, but at the same time, we only have room for four people. Let's give Alex a knife. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like, I'm kind of joining a little bit after that, after I just ate those M&Ms. I probably shouldn't have done that right before recording. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sorry, Zombos. Oh, hey. It's, uh, like Dale Gribble's truck from, um, King of the Hill. Not bad. <laughs> Alright, let's head inside. So, presumably somebody is here. We just don't know where they are. Okay, already, uh, getting some pretty nice food. <laughs> is this some kind of, like, office? What is this? Like American flags everywhere. This must be like where the manager worked or whatever. There's a lot of food. I like it. There's a lot of zombies. Oh, oh he found the keys. There's a set of keys and soon he's putting some card keys. Andre picks it up. So I guess we can now exchange cards if we want. I'm not sure why we want to. But maybe... Well, I guess we don't want to because our old car has more damage on it. The new car doesn't. Presumably. So... Uh, is there anything up in here? Nothing at all in here. Perfect. That's exactly what I came up here for. Nothing. I don't know. Uh, was that that person's hair? They, they just look kind of weird. Right, is there anything in here? Nothing. Perfect. I love running into rooms that have nothing in them. Well, at least it was a pretty easy place. Are there any other places around here? Let's see. There's just a rest stop, so there's probably not anything else on here. Nope, oh, there are a lot of zombies up there. Yeah, let's just not go there. Let's just, let's just leave. Yeah, I guess... Oh, hey, guys. Alright. The keys fit perfectly. Andre unlocks the door. Let's get in. Alright. Oh, now we have a new car. <laughs> we left our old perfectly fine one behind, but now we have a brand new one, so that is A-OK -okay with me. Alright, we're in pretty good spirits. Everybody's pretty happy. I have a feeling that going to Canada is a waste of time. <laughs> this car takes up more gas. Bandits appear, all wearing sweatbands and all super buff, even their dog. Oh my god. They demand protein powder. Hmm. Well, we're all pretty healthy right now. I do like the idea of Cecily challenging them to a pose off, so let's do that. She loses. The bandits take a lot of supplies as punishment. Cecily's morale decrease. We lost 17 food. We have no food. We have no food. Oh my god. When you charge your fair account, the whole thing is further and wasted daytime pretending to work on the car. The car runs like it's in good shape. The car looks all beat up but still sturdy. I'm mechanical as revealed. Despair creeps in. Oh boy. 
Oh wow, that is a huge drop. That is a very large drop. Holy crap. Okay, that was bad. At the end of the day, the group hides in the drafty old house. Some zombies roam around outside, and the doors of the house are barely on their hinges. Should someone barricade the house? Pick someone to secure it. Who should barricade the house? Uh, I'm gonna trust Alex with this. Alex barricades a flimsy house. He improvises. The results don't look pretty, but manages to keep the zombies out. Is the Witzer and Mechanical have revealed? Witzer average and Mechanical is below average, but still not bad. Oh no. Oh god. <laughs> I don't even know what happens when morale is that low. Like, what's gonna happen to us? I bet it's gonna be too cold for everyone in Canada. Probably. We all live in fucking Arizona. <laughs> Andre has lost all hope and refuses to keep going. He wanders off to an unknown fate. What a nerd. Who needs him anyway? Am I right? Screw Andre. That guy's a douchebag. The group finds an abandoned safe house. There's a little bit of ammo inside. Can I find some food, please? Also, I'm gone. <laughs> I just left. That's amazing. Now we don't have anybody to heal the group. On further searching, some unfinished pipe bombs were in the building. Someone must have had to leave in a hurry. Messing with them could be really dangerous. Let's not mess with those. Oh my god. We're just gonna have everybody leave. Whoa, it's Emily! Hey, Emily! <laughs> it's nice to see a familiar face. Uh, well, they is a proper pro pronoun for Emily. Uh, they were making tons of noise, playing a portable game console at full blast. I don't know if Emily will want to join us. Our team is looking kind of cruddy right now. But, let's go for it! Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> we learned just about everything about Emily, and they are not looking good. <laughs> But at least they're pretty good in half of it. While driving on the death row, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. Crowded Yalmart or Lost Stronghold? Hmm. The Stronghold probably has like ammo and stuff, so the Yalmart is probably the better place to go for food. The group sees a big Yalmart. A large amount of undead protects the supplies scattered around inside. I wonder if I'm going to come back at some point. <laughs> Why does... Oh, Emily, Emily only has one health because I set them as Berserk. And when you're Berserk, you're super powerful, but you can only take one hit and then you die. So, uh, Emily, you gotta be careful there, right? You're gonna, you're gonna not get hit, right? Okay, let's see what happens here. I can't believe we ran out of food so fast. But hopefully we can find some more here and we'll keep going. I think Emily also prefers to just go hand in hand. Oh yeah, I made them a martial arts expert, so... Okay, on a wrench. Okay, gotta find some food. Oh, there's a med kit. We could use that. Especially since we don't have our med guy here anymore. AKA me. Because I left like a jerk. Okay, I got a little bit of food. Anything in here besides a weapon? No. No, he's not here besides a weapon. Okay. Alright, let's get out of here. Yeah, Emily's really powerful. But again, they can't take any damage or else they're gonna die. Okay. Okay, this isn't so bad so far. I thought it was gonna be harder than this, but the storm isn't really that thick. Yep. Trying not to take damage to me. She's getting really tired, so it's taking all the long time to swing a weapon. The wrench is heavy. Maybe I should switch to. Switch out the flashlight for this dagger here. Sorry, this knife is not an actual dagger. There's also a lot of supplies on the counters, I'm not getting. We got some food. Some more food. We need all the food that we can get right now. Like, as much as we can possibly get. Uh, See if we can swap out. Yeah, let's swap out the wrench for this meat cleaver. Ooh, there's more food. Let's go snag that really quick. Okay, that meat cleaver is way more light, way faster. Okay, there's a room down here. Just a couple more weapons. Not really anything special. Okay, let's see what's in this toilet. Yes! Yay! I can't believe I just left. <laughs> I was a leader of the group and I'm like, nope, I'm done. I didn't even try to stick around. Okay, nice, there's a lot of stuff in here. A lot of gas, a lot of food. There might be more stuff inside these boxes. 
Or maybe not. Probably not. I'm probably just wasting my uh, my time and my weapon durability. Is there anything on this side that I haven't looked at yet? Let's see. Yep, there's a door I haven't been in yet. Oh, there's also an ammo just sitting right here. Oh wait, no, that was a health pack. Okay. Oh, so much more food. Yes. All right, is that an umbrella? <laughs> awesome. Perfect. Okay, let's get out of here. <clears throat> okay, this was a fruitful adventure. This was a good stop. We got a decent amount of supplies. Just this car again. Wait, did we lose our car? Or is it just further down? Okay, we parked all the way down here. Alright. Alright, everybody in? Let's go. Give her. Alright. 14 food, not bad. 77 gas, which is came just in time. Let's see, three med kits and some ammo. Alright. Yeah, that was good. That was a good trip. Hopefully our morale can start going back up. <laughs> Exhausted after an extra long drive, the group scouts out a camping spot and falls asleep immediately after. Okay. Yeah, they needed all that rest and that food. So morale is slowly going back up. That's good. That's very, very good. We have 10 days until Canada. The group feels a sense of dread. Something dangerous is coming. The road seems like it's getting steadily more crowded with the undead and they're getting riled up. Hmm, we only have six food. We definitely should visit every trader camp though. Oh, who do I see here? It's Jessica, if I can actually get her. She has been waiting for you to show up. Trait Frantic Whiner, Perk Big Bruiser. If I recruit Jessica, I have to get rid of somebody else. Hmm. Jessica's glad to be back. The group is full. Would you like. Hmm. I don't know. So I kinda. Okay, I'm probably gonna go with Emily. Because even though they're very powerful, I'm afraid that Emily's gonna die, and I don't want Emily to die. I want them to just live on and continue to be awesome. <laughs> and I'm just gonna assume that if I let Emily go, that they're gonna keep living and they're just gonna be great. So I think I'm gonna let Emily go. Emily gets booted. I uh, that's that's such a mean way to put it. But yeah, now we have Jessica. Emily's still following us, though. Huh. But yeah, I don't think there's gonna be much that we can actually do here. Maybe we could try to see if we can find some food. It's not looking likely. Yeah, there's nothing else that we can actually do here. Alright, we can't trade for anything because we don't have anything to trade. She still got. I'm sorry, they still got back into the car with us. That's weird. I'm, I would assume that Emily would have stayed back at the camp. Okay. The group tries to rest in the house, but is ambushed by a giant spider. Well, maybe it's a normal spider, but it's gross looking. The spider is rapidly training the group's morale. Um. Hmm. Let's run in disgust. The group runs out of that house. The spider continues slowly walking on the walls in a creepy, disgusting manner. Everybody's morale decreased. Amazing. I just didn't want to kill the spider, honestly. While driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. Ah, oh, they're both red. Shopping mall or gas station rescue. So there's somebody at the gas station. But we have a full party. If we get somebody else, who would I replace? Nobody's dying. Like, nobody's actually died yet. I left, but I didn't die. Presumably, I might be rotting somewhere right now for all I know. Um, let's do the gas station rescue. Group is driving past a horde before it turns ugly. When they see a gas station, someone is trapped inside. It's an hour-long siege, and we have to help somebody. What does Jessica have? Nothing. Alright. You get a hatchet now. There's also food here, so that's good. There's gotta survive. There's somebody in here trying to survive as well. Oh, there's uh, so much stuff in here. Nice. There's a lot of stuff in here. Oh, here you are. Who are you? I don't know who you are. Stop. Let me talk to you. Emmeline says that she really wants to wants to get out of this place. Uh, she asks if she can follow you around. Okay. Yeah, you can follow me. 
So that's following Whitney. Should be useful if you can get her out of here alive or a handy distraction if you can't. Oh man, that's kind of harsh. So Emmeline is not a character that I created. Oh Jesus Christ! Okay, we hit the bomb thing that was right outside the door, so that exploded and hurt all of us. That's pretty great. <laughs> Let's try to not do that again, shall we? One bullet. Yeah, don't don't attack. Don't attack, please. Get out of the way. Okay, good. So, let's just get back out of here. Maybe Emmeline will, Emmeline will give us something if we can manage to get out. Okay, let's go. Let's get out. Okay, so we just gotta survive for a little bit longer. Okay, the siege is over. Let's get out of here. Oh, I can siphon gas? Uh-oh. Who died? Who just died? I didn't see who died. <laughs> oh, no. I hesitated for a second. No, I didn't mean to hit that. I don't even know who Emmeline is. Somebody died. Who died? I meant to choose a different option. Oh, God. Jessica? How did Jessica die? You gotta be kidding. I just got Jessica. Come on. It's always the black people that go. <laughs> The group goes against their judgment and camps in the city apartment because there's no zombies around. When they wake up, the building is on fire. Cecily is cool about fire safety. Uh, what are, what are Cecily's wits? Oh, Jesus. Cecily and Whitney are both at one health. Cecily's wits are pretty good. Okay, let's trust her. <clears throat> awesome. Her morale increased. And everybody else's morale increased as well. I can't believe Jessica died and I accidentally recruited him on. As soon as I can, I'm gonna get rid of her. <laughs> the group finds a trashed house with some bottles and tattered rags. Searching it seemed like a waste of time, but Cecily has an idea. They can make Molotovs if they can spare the gas. I don't care about Molotovs. I'm probably gonna regret that later, but also we are pretty low on gas anyway. Remember fun? I remember fun. Man, I miss fun. Doing a lot of healing right now, so that's good. The group is driving down a long stretch of road. No threats on the horizon, but not much else of interest. <clears throat> yeah, we're gonna get rid of uh, Emmeline. Wait, are you a character? I think this guy is selling extra bullets. No, you're not. No, thanks. We have barely enough food for one more day. Can we recruit somebody else? I don't, I don't know who Emmeline is. Whoa. Dude, you're awesome. Hey, get out of our how hour? Who's the other person? Also, why are you being so rude? I was just saying hi. Okay, who's in here? Oh, it's not who's in here, but what's in here? Nice. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. Um, yeah. Not much of interest around here. So let's just go. I, Jessica died? How did she die so fast? I don't get it. Ah, <laughs> uh, whatever. The group gets surrounded by an approaching horde. Another siege? A serious? They seek shelter in a nearby cabin. Yay, another one. Let's go. Oh god, it's so dark. Keep pressing the wrong buttons. Uh, let's see if there's any supplies in here, really quick. Oh god! <laughs> that scared me! <laughs> Junk. What a waste. Let's just get ourselves even more on close here. Cause, uh, Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm done. I'm out of here. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Get off of me. Get off of me. Or get off of Whitney. Oh, Jesus Christ. Do we have 80 guns? I don't think we have any guns. Oh, my goodness. It was a mistake coming in. It was a mistake. Oh, my gosh. Somebody's getting hurt. Who is it? I can't see who it is. We are probably doing it right now. I cannot see what's happening. It's just a massive black. The seed is over. Yeah, yeah, we can try to escape. Uh, you say that. Uh, uh, 
<laughs> oh wait, I thought that was me. I thought that I died. It turned out I didn't. We have Alex left and Cecily. All right, Alex. All right, come on, we can do this, we can get out of here. Okay, they're all up on this side, so let's run around and go to the other side. They're busy feasting on the flesh of our fallen allies. At least one of them is a malign. <laughs> and we lost Whitney. Awesome. We don't have, like, we have hardly anything. We got hardly anything out of that. I shouldn't have gotten inside, that was a mistake. Uh, sure, there won't be as much mosquitoes in Canada, but what about grizzly bears? The group was inspired after managing to survive. Huh. Two of you managed to survive. Ooh, morale and one health. That could be nice. Strength could also be nice. Morale and a random skill. Let's do strength. Okay, so they both went up a little bit, got a zombo point. Oh boy, it's looking like I'm kind of coming up on my downswing again, similar to what happened last time. So hopefully I can pull myself out of this. Let's keep going for a little bit longer. Let's just see what happens. Okay, the group finds a cabin in the woods with no zombies in sight. It has a wood stove in it, but no wood. The group eats a decent meal. Hmm. Yeah, let's go out and chop some wood. We should go chop the wood. It's really hard work. Well, who has better strength? So Cecily is an average. Alex is below average. So Cecily, it's up to you. Toss a bunch of wood and gets the wood stove going for Oh nice, her strength increased. And Alex's attitude is revealed. Bad attitude, Alex. Come on, man. Get it together. Oh, Cecily's tired, though. The car's completely... Oh, we ran out of gas. Okay. Cecily's walking along the road when she is suddenly mauled by a feral cat. I mean, if there's any way that Cecily would go, it would probably be to be mauled by a cat, honestly. Feral cats coat the United States after, after the Zompocalypse. You never see them, but they're always watching, waiting for any weakness. <laughs> well, crap, now she's hurt. The group is fortunate to find an abandoned cabin in the woods and stay in the night, and shortly after setting up a storm moved in, luckily for them, uh, uh excuse me, they found the cabin in time. Okay, so the morale increased at least, rolls up her sleeves and starts tending to their wounds. Tries to help, but lacks enough medical supplies. We have no food left. The group is ambushed while- oh my god! Ugh, oh, the bandits demand a toll to cross. We want all your extra gas, half your ammo, and medical supplies. Cecily expected this. Let's see what happens. Come on, Cecily. Walk through the bridge alone, carrying nothing. The bandits are annoyed by her lack of stuff and crappy attitude. So they toss her over the bridge? It's not a bad fall. <laughs> while, this ha while this is happening, Alice sneaks past the bridge with the supplies. So she didn't take any damage or anything? They just threw her off the bridge? <laughs> Cecily spots a car parked in the middle of the road. They rush over to discover a car that looks especially like the car they started their journey in. Oh, okay. Cecily takes the keys that she kept from the old car and sticks in the ignition. It starts. Here we go again. Okay, at least we have a car. At least we have a car. It's important to keep set rations to conserve our supplies. Yeah, I'm gonna try my best. The group checks out what appears to be a trader settlement. Uh, they demand all your extra gas and half your... Oh, come on. Oh boy. One of them looks injured. Okay, I think we have one med kit. Cecily isn't the worst at medical, so offer to heal a wound. What? No! What? Offers to heal the injured bandit with their medical know how. She ends up making. Oh. Oh. Uh... Oh no. While driving on the death road, Alex decides to make a stop for supplies. Let's do a hospital raid. I am losing hope rapidly right now. Alex sees a hospital. Medical supplies can often still be found in places like this due to the large amount of undead still wandering around. Moderate and calm. Okay, Alex. It is now up to you. You're gonna double knife it. Let's do this. Everything is gonna be okay. You're gonna find medical supplies. You're gonna heal yourself. Maybe there'll be some food in here too. 
Just don't take any unnecessary damage. Oh my god, there's a lot of doors in here. Maybe actually hit the enemies. I'm so bad at combat. Oh, please don't, please don't. Okay. Yeah, it's better to just run away than fight right now. But then again, I also don't want to get cornered. Okay, come on, come on, die. Maybe I should switch to my axe. Yeah, let's use a hatchet. That'll be really better. Okay, oh god, I'm getting cornered. I'm getting cornered already. So, instead of trying to fight them all off, let's... Oh, there's stuff that I don't want to get. Uh, come on, Alex. You can do this. You can do this, Alex. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Oh, I, there's stuff right there that I want to get. There's, there's stuff I need to get. Stuff I need to get. No, Alex! Ah, that was so anticlimactic. Oh, no. Dang it. Well, that was my second attempt at Death Row to Canada. Things go south in this game very quickly. Well, thank you for joining me on this mini-adventure, and I'll see you on our next attempts, <laughs> where hopefully we do just a tiny bit better than last time.